This is Gerald Juan van Waas and the Educational Channel, related with the book Sound in Form. Uh, it is also in two uh, separate volumes uh, called The Development of the Word and The Application of the Word. Both volumes are about the same thing, but uh, different aspects of the same thing. The Sound in Form is a method with which you understand uh, all letters and sounds and how to combine them. And they prove that there is a specific meaning of orientation in each of the words. And you can learn this. It is a slightly like a spontaneous form of synesthesia, if you would say. But it is in fact a, a sensitivity that you can learn. And, uh, but you have to adapt to certain rules. And these rules are uh, searched for in the development of the word. And in these videos I will show you how you can gradually learn how to combine certain letters and uh, that they uh, also fit automatically to the words and it's not in that order there is an order which is already in the words themselves some of the letters which are a bit more complicated uh, 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 i will explain as well and i will give examples as well one of these letters is the v for instance and i will have a couple of videos with the v but i will combine it with easy examples as well the v as you can see, this is the letter. It is actually already explaining what is going on here. There is actually uh, a movement which goes from one part to the next part. And this movement is a, a, a move forward. Now this move forward is uh, difficult in that way because it makes a connection with the start and the finish. So there's a start somewhere and there's a continuation end point somewhere as well. So you have an access point and a movement and so the, the whole thing is going forward. But it's very much depending on where it starts and where it ends. And that is the only difficulty that you have there. So you have to learn it. It will not be that difficult, but it is already an idea which has more complexity and more dependency on what you have uh, uh, by combining it with other letters. In uh, English, there are not so many words with V. Mostly they prefer F. Uh, the F is a soft sound and the V is a strong sound. In the F, there are no fixed directions, so you can go anywhere. And it can be yeah, an advantage to have uh, the freedom to go uh, to a direction that you say, OK, here I can do something with it, compared to V, which is a very strong directed uh, connection. But even with the F, there is a tendency to find really uh, distinctions towards a certain direction. Even though, in the starting point, it can be any direction. Anyhow, with the fixed uh, point of reference, uh, it will also go to a strong direction. But the V is much more already directed from beforehand. Okay, let's now have some examples with words with a very easy association. Not with the V, but with the combination of the uh, letters O and L. O, o is like an environment. The L is like um, uh, the formation of a volume into the... Uh, yeah, in the volume part, so it is uh, actually stretching itself around the O if you combine the O and the L. This is a very easy example of a two-letter word, uh, all, which I will combine with other letters to, to show you how easily you can find words and understand words by combining them with other letters. Let's start with bowl. I already have the O already slightly extending because the O is environment, so it is extending into the environment. It's taking shape into the environment, with, but with the B, which is stretching itself uh, in a widening sense and a broadening sense into two directions. That's the B. You have the form or the combination of all with B or ball. It uh, starts with the B, so it is ball. What do we have here? It's an emphasis, as you can see, on the uh, edges, the stretching uh, and the stretching itself outwardly. 
So in the end you have this kind of form which pops out a slightly out of the form. So this is the ball. Ball is uh, the ball-like shape, let's say the sphere-like shape as you can as uh, as it is a dutch word okay i have association with all all with dutch words because they are more common but ball and ball ball it is uh, you, you can understand it from the english viewpoint as well of course so we start back from the all now we uh, choose another word hall uh, so the first uh, letter is the h and it's of course means hollow so what do we have the h is the starting point the starting point of a space a space which goes wider and it makes connections connection points with what we have and that is exactly what we have here so if we uh, we uh, connect them in that way starting from the h we come to the area which has an emphasis on the hollow area as you can see it there so the h is there in the middle and the hole is there as you can see underneath compared to ball which you can see on top so the ball top is different from the whole uh, uh, part uh, underneath so we start back from to all another word call Call has a, a, a couple of different meanings, but the first one that comes into my mind is the glue, of course. But call starts with a K. K is a minor, minus, uh, breaking apart, it's a minus thing. So it is lesser, so it is going less uh, in, in um, so it starts from something which is a break, broke apart or which is lessened. So these are kind of minuses there in the formation of all. The formation of all is lessening, so it is it's limiting itself. It started from a limiting uh, aspect. In a way, you can also say like the formation of all, if it's going back inwards, it is the glue-like thing which is there as well. It is not the only meaning of coal. Uh, the the breaking point can also be emphasized this is the breaking and it's in fact also the negative so it's the sticking thing will always do be in all the meanings of the words and the second meaning of the words is of course call so again you have the all the l form there but it's also the breaking part and it is the sticking to uh, what the in to the to the inner part there as well so these combinations are, are always there. The, uh, this is in the second meaning of call. Okay, we start back with all. Now with a difficult uh, combination with V. The V, as we know, it has to start from somewhere, has to end somewhere. Mostly, okay, we have to end it uh, somewhere else or if within the same object. And then we stretch it. We, we will, uh, I mean, we will use the movement of what we have already so we will include the, the movement and we will increase the movement until we have the the word vol or full this is the word of uh, uh, vol uh, com compared to the v and the all in combination we start back with the all so we have already vol but we now will go to wall or wool the v is one direction as we know already and this v could go even further uh, with uh, different uh, variations and different uh, uh, parts where it is uh, leading to if it's not immediately finding connection but it takes a bit time with some evolution and with some variations you have not just the v but you have already have the double v as in French, or the W. The W is the formation or into a direction that is irregular. That's the W, as you can see there. And if you combine it with all, you have the wall or wool. It's a woolly form, uh, as you can see there. It's a structure, it's a fabric. And if we add this fabric into the L form there as well, it is this kind of layers up on top of layers which are intermingling in this same kind of variations of this woolly variation as you can see over here 
okay that was it enough for this uh, video uh, I'll try to make them shorter this time uh, I will continue with the V in the next video this was uh, a part that you can use uh, after reading the book development of the word we have you have already some examples so that you can learn it more in practical the books are uh, available at Trafford also in the ebooks over there or they are available physically at several distribution channels anyhow thanks for watching this was Joe Duan van Was for this time here's a website as well and a YouTube channel you can subscribe if you like and have examples uh, hopefully every week thanks for watching bye bye